You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. Right now, the water in the Gulf of Mexico, at least in our area, 89, 92 degrees, even warmer in other areas. And not only would you notice that right in the water, the marine life is also noticing these warming temperatures, especially the coral. We've talked about this, the warmer waters and heat causing the coral to get rid of an algae that they need to survive and it's causing the coral then to die. It's, this process is called bleaching. And sometimes it is reversible. In Moat Marine Laboratories in Sarasota, they're actually studying the warmer temperatures on corals so they can figure out if there are actually corals that can do better in these changing environments. We've learned that some corals, after they've gone through different a number of bleaching periods, they actually uh, can withstand higher temperatures later on. So we try to look for those, um, especially with our restoration efforts. We try to understand what might do better in a, in a changing climate. It's important because corals are vital for many marine species. The experts at Moat Marine say 25% of marine life at one point uh, in their lives will live on coral reefs and will need the coral then to survive. So crucial.